welcome back. Um, today we're gonna have a German mukbang. We went to our local grocery store and found some of the German delicacies that fit within our dietary restrictions. We're gonna try them. Yeah. Some we're gonna sound really good and others don't. Yeah. They all kind of look pretty gross. It's gonna be good. Anyways, so this is what we've got, what we're working with. We're gonna rate them on a scale from one to 10. And us American girls are gonna have a great old time. Let's get into it. There's Let's a get into dog it. in the corner. We got food to get into. Neither of us are hungry. So that will tell if this stuff is actually good or not. Okay, I don't like pickles. I don't like pickled things because How I'm just not- about cabbage? I'm not, cabbage is cabbage. I'm just not a very- You don't like pickled things? I'm not a very- This isn't gonna be a good video for you. Though. It's There's not, lots I'm of not. pickled things. Oh, my stomach's churning. I'm really not that worried about this. I'm kind of nervous. It tastes a lot like a pickle. I don't like pickles. This is an aftertaste I don't like. Mm-mm. I don't like that. <laughs> it's definitely got a strong vinegar flavor. This is Henstenberg. Oh. You're supposed to cook it. <laughs> no wonder it's bad. No. We'll have to keep it refrigerated after opening. Ugh. This was made in Germany. If that wasn't already obvious by the Americans try German snack kind of thing. Oh well, yeah, these are all German brand foods. They're just written in English, English. cause we're stupid. <laughs> I give this. I can still taste it. Yeah, um, <laughs> overall beginning flavor vinegar, it isn't that bad. It's just really strong and has a weird aftertaste. Um, That's like a two out of you know, ten. A two out of ten? A two out of ten. I didn't enjoy. Really? I did I didn't enjoy. I was gonna say it was three of those like those like monkey like mm -hmm. this things out of five. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> I'm already over it. It's not purple, it's red. It's purple. That's that's it I says red. I might be colorblind, but I say that's purple. I don't know what the Germans purple. call it, but I call it cabbage purple. though. I'm not gonna be a fan, I can tell I, you. This one uh, doesn't bother me for one, I've had it. Mm, well, you've also had it cooked. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to cook this too. Nope, ready to serve, either hot or cold. <sighs> Very different flavor. Very different flavor? Very different. It doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like a lot. It's sweet. Well, it's sweet, it just doesn't have a strong flavor. The sauerkraut feels her taste yeah. buds. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey, this is only 15 calories. Yeah, that's good. I've had that served with Indian food before. Who knew? They were just waltzing into the German section and scooping that out on my plate. I mean, who knew that red cabbage belongs to more places than just Germany? This is crazy. Other places pickled cabbage? That's so weird. Or pickle anything? Are you gonna keep eating this? Okay, I'm gonna give that a 6 out of 10. It wasn't my favorite, but I don't mind it. Um, I give this one an 8 superhero man emoji thing out of Why 10 of them. are you going with emojis? I don't know, I'll fill it in. That's fair. We'll insert the emojis. Heck yeah, we will! Um, Trying to make it difficult. I don't like pickles. I'm not excited. This one's kind of big. Oh, my stomach's turning just smelling up. Oh, yay, on the table. It's a clean table. Okay. Oh. That's weird. What? Do you like it? You're not gonna mind that. It's like bread and butterish sweet pickle. I don't really. It doesn't taste like a dill pickle. I wonder if I take such a good bite. I don't care for it, but it's not that bad. Mm. Do you want it? It's 
Pickles and pickle. It's not that good. I give that one like a like four roses out of ten. You're still eating it? Mm, not that good. Yeah. I give it a four out of ten too. This is fitness bread. I don't know what fitness bread is. That is whatever that that is in German directly translated to what okay. means fitness bread in English. Okay, that's fair. It's whole rye, oat kernels, and wheat germ. It's also delicious when toasted. Hold on. Holding. It's pre-sliced. Oh, it's thin, dude. I hope we actually kind of like this because we bought the whole thing of it and I don't know anyone else who would eat it. This is, this stuff is called fitness broth. <laughs> normally, which is- it's You had an accent when you said normally. Oh, and I then just keep falling. Normally. There you go. I don't like it. Mm. I think that's what cardboard would taste like. It's wet. Mm-hmm, that's a good description. <laughs> I that, can't get it out of my teeth. Uh -uh. Like it's so dense. It is so dense. This is going back in there and it's gonna go to like my grandmother or something. She might actually eat that. The way that this breaks explains the texture. It's nasty. Not good. How did they get that weird aftertaste? I don't know. Is that know. the wheat germ? Has it gone bad? I doubt it. Why would they still sell it if it's bad? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is good until December. It's not good now. It's just never been good. I really hope the other one's good. We should have gotten a pumpernickel. Okay. Sunflower. I would like to think this one isn't going to be gross. We only chose two of the seven types of bread that they had because I felt like sitting here. We felt like sitting here. Is it the same here. texture? Yeah. Crap. It's the wet cardboard, but it's darker, and it's probably gonna taste the same. It's Stand made, up! It's made with sunflowers, and it just has whole rye kernels in this <laughs> one. So, this one, it smells the exact same. Why did they have potatoes on it in the picture? There's no potatoes. What is that? I can't see. Is that potato? Is it good? It tastes exactly the same. The texture does it. It's just less bunk. We didn't rate the last one. Both of these are like a 1 out of 10. Like, I would not eat this again. The first one, I give oh, that one. God. I give that one, uh, it is 2 pickles out of 10. And this one is 4 pickles out of 10. Let's get some raw honey in here. Absolutely. We should put that on there. That would taste good, though. We'll try that after we try this. Oh, wow. Ooh. Interesting. Maybe we should let that drain for a second. It's congealed. It's congealed. That's sweet. If it was on something, oh! it's good. Whew. That's sweeter than normal honey. I was about to say sweeter than normal bread. This is nastier than normal bread, so maybe the honey will be really good. I don't want to like stick it back in there. That's why I brought the plate. Bro! That with honey on it slaps. Are you sure? Yes. Fixes the texture, fixes the taste, they balance each other a little bit. I disagree. I like that. I disagree. I like that. Mm -mm. We didn't put enough honey on there, probably. It just tastes like you put something good on something bad. You literally just left a chunk of honey bread there. Yeah, I did. Would you like to eat the chunk of honey bread? I would think about it. Think about it. Okay. The, the honey by itself, you know, it's too sweet on its own. So, I like how you're pretending like you're on Food Network. Anyway. Okay. I give it like an 8 out of 10. I'm not the biggest fan of like the congealed texture, you know? It's just kind of like yeah. jelly-like almost. I mean, it's literally, it's just honey. I mean, I like honey. It's, it's honey. Good. I like honey. It by itself is, is like sweet? a, it's just way too sweet. So it's like a 4. It's yeah, like, like it's like eating a spoonful of honey that you left on the counter for a day. Like it still bit. tastes the same. It's just kind of like thick, a little bit thicker, and the texture's it not on weird. something. I give it like a nine. It's good honey. We're saving the best for the last. Um, 
It's hazelnut wafers. They're vegan. Right there, vegan. You can't see that, but I'm pointing at it. Okay. They're not like wrapped or anything. They're just in there. Man. They're just in there. We're just in there. They're just in there. Watch these be like hazelnut chocolate thing, and they just didn't say it on. Oh, here. they probably are. I'll still eat it. I don't like chocolate, by the way. Yep, yeah, it's chocolate. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll try it anyways. This is for sure chocolate. We're not gonna like that. Mm. That's more hazelnut than chocolate, but it's still yeah. chocolate. It tastes like Nutella almost. Or at least what I think Nutella would taste like, because I've never actually had that before. Mm. I like I them a lot! I'm gonna eat that whole bag. Go for it. <laughs> wow. I mean, they'd be really good if I oh, liked chocolate. Uh huh. But all really good. But I guess I just gotta be picky, huh? What the heck? It's a product of Austria. Did we get gypped? What was it in the German section? And it says Taste of Vienna on the back. We got gypped. Is it Austrian or Viennian? <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10, baby. That's yeah, that like, like a 3 out of 10. Yeah. What the crap? I don't know. Don't listen to her on, on this one. Or, yeah. I don't like chocolate, so I wouldn't have liked it anyway. The rest of it's just a bunch of pickles. Yeah. Or I pickle don't like pickles beans. either. This was a bad one. For or me. nasty bread. 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 I love bread, and they made me not like it. Thank you for bearing with me as I made a bunch of funny faces, but um, let us know where you want us to try next. And, um, yeah. Yeah. See you next time. Bye! Bye.